The advantages are uh, lower price than machining. Basically, you're only paying to machine your features once, and we make the mold, and then we're able to make tens and hundreds of thousands of parts out of the mold and maintain those tolerances. We definitely do uh, design for manufacturability. If you come to us with a design that isn't the greatest design for molding, we can help you try and reduce your tooling costs and get a better tool design and a better part design. Hi, I'm Jim Beyer from Smith Metal Products. We do metal and ceramic injection molding. Ceramic injection molding and metal injection molding are very similar processes. Basically, uh, there's powdered metal and powdered ceramic mixed in with plastic. There's about 21% plastic in a material and 79% powdered ceramic or metal. The dental industry and the weapons industry have really adapted to metal injection molding. You know, we're kind of waiting for the rest of the USA to catch up with that. We buy our material from a company called BASF, and we originally mold a green piece. This part here has 21% plastic and 79% metal particles in it. And after it goes through the process of sublimation through our furnaces, we sinter the metal particles together, vaporize the plastic, and then sinter the metal together and end up with a part that's 21% smaller. We make a lot of these little brackets on the braces for our customers. We have a few different customers that we make these for. There's all kinds of little tiny features in here and the tolerances are very tight, uh, plus or minus 1,000. This part is a weapon part and it's called a flash hider. Basically it hides the muzzle flash from a gun when it fires out in the field. Casting has a much higher porosity than metal injection molding or ceramic injection molding uh, and our part's a lot less porous. As far as uh, finish machining and finish features afterwards, we can plate the parts, we can polish the parts, we can weld them, we can heat treat them, we can black oxide coat them. Here's some ceramic parts. Uh, basically the ceramic parts are uh, inert. Basically they're used in a lot of electronic type applications. As you can see there's several slots in here and, and lots of gaps. If you machine all those features you're, you're paying very expensive machining time to remove that material and that costs a lot of money. There's an operator that has to be involved to do this. The overall cost is much higher. You machine the mold once, and then after you've machined the mold, then you can uh, knock out tens and hundreds of thousands of parts without having to you know, pay that high machining cost. As you look at this part, or rod stock, or whatever, you can imagine that uh, you know, well over 90% of this would be waste, but we only mold what's gonna be in the finished part, so it's a lot more efficient process. Some of these parts, we, uh, we get them polished afterwards. If our customer has a really high expectation for a finish or something like that, we, we work with a post-processing company that does these operations for us and polishes these up. As you can see, we get a really nice finish on that part. If you have any projects for metal injection molding or ceramic injection molding that uh, you're thinking about having somebody take a look at, by all means, get a hold of me at Smith Metal Products and uh, we can help you fine tune your design and design for manufacturability and save you some money. See us and other quality suppliers at d2p.com. Mm -hmm.